why a narcissist would suddenly be nice to you. Have you ever experienced that where they are suddenly charming, nice, accommodating, seeming friendly, seeming like they have they 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 have changed their ways, they understand what they've done. What is that about? It throws you off, right? It throws you off and you think they're human. <laughs> right? They do have empathy. They do care. That it throws you off the track, right? It it knocks you into feeling like you're dealing with a person who can communicate and will be fair. But we know that's not the case. Number one, this is a Hoover. Hoover doesn't have to mean a narcissist wants you back. It can mean they want something from you. It can mean that they want to have control of you. They want to have control of the situation that you're involved in. They want to be in charge. They want to feel important. They want to... They want the supply coming back to them. They want the situation to go the way they want it to go. So what is the motivation? We talk about what it's not. It's not empathy. It's not accountability. It is not caring. It is not concern. It is not compassion. Okay. Those are the things it's not when they're nice. It's not. So let's talk about what it okay. is. Um, what it is, is manipulation. But why? What are they after? They often want to look like the good one. If, if they have been outed, called on their behavior, they want to discredit it so that it can, it, so that it's erased. And then you look a little crazy for reacting to them being nice. Does that make sense? They want to wipe the slate clean and pretend that they're this other thing so that you fall back under the spell and they can get what they want from you. They want to show reasonable behavior so that they can then shift the blame. You see, it was always you who caused the fights. I tried. I was nice to you. You see what happens when I offer an olive branch or when I, yeah, yeah. you see, this is what they're doing. There, there's always a backhanded thing going on. It's not just purely somebody trying to reconcile their behavior, trying to reconcile a relationship, trying to take accountability. It's not that. To, so sometimes when it's a hoovery type of thing, they'll butter you up that way. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, they want me back. Oh, look, they've seen the errors of their ways. They realize how good I am for them because you are, you're awesome, right? However, that's not what they're doing. What they're doing is, oh good, now I have you. You're my, you're my secondary supply. And I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, but now you're on the hook again. Oh, they're trying to confuse you so that you forget. You forget it all. You forget what you went through. You forget the hurt. Are reinforcing their delusion of who they are. Oftentimes it really is about how they perceive themselves. They get a narcissistic injury. They get somebody else maybe saw through them and left. They want something. A lot of them really need to believe they are not toxic because if they did, they'd have to take accountability because they know darn well it is wrong. They often need to, to reinforce that they're the victim. They need to be the one everyone says, oh, poor them, right? Um, they're wanting attention. They keep you as support. So they want to keep you in your life, in their life as a support person, like I was saying before, while they're backburnering you of the affection, but they're being really super nice. Okay, they also do it to look good in the eyes of others. That's a big one. That's a big narcissistic thing, right? What other people think. Whether it be one friend that they look good in front of or an entire community, they want to look, whoever they have as they think is their support, even if it's only one other human being in this world, they will do something to make it look like they're the good guy. And then they'll show that other person, see, see what I did? Why would they still be that way to me? It must be them. You see how toxic they are? Yes. All of this is a calculating action. They know they're doing it. Of course. You don't suddenly be nice out of nowhere. You don't like wake up one day, I think I'll be nice. <laughs> like that isn't, or not even knowing it, just waking up like, and just sharing all your niceness when you've been horrible for years and years. Or it's a way to control, to take control. This is all a control tactic. It's a way to manipulate things back so that they feel like they have the seat of power and that they can take control. And, and don't believe it. Don't believe in it. It's not, it's not real. This is a smokescreen to cover up all the other crap they've done to you and will continue to do to you. In fact, they're doing it behind your back while they're being nice to you. If you are 
falling for it. If you're falling for it in any way, shape or form, if it's bringing up cognitive dissonance, making you think, doubt your own experience, doubt all the things they've done to you, forget the gaslighting, forget the projecting, forget the horrible words they say and the attacks and, and all of the stuff they do. If it's making you forget, just wait for it. Seriously, just wait for it because what will come is a giant turnabout that will be the massive devaluing the second or maybe three seconds or whatever. It'll happen. They will devalue you and devalue and then and then flip this niceness back in your face. You can't trust them. You can't trust them to be nice. You can't you can't trust them ever. Nothing that comes out of a narcissist's mouth is 100 percent truth because there's always motive behind it that is an intention they aren't speaking. And, in, and, and it is always an intention to protect their own ego. All of this too is to get you to slack your boundaries so that they have a way to wiggle in and a way to gain control. Yeah. If you need coaching information, check out the links in the description of every video.